Hello everyone and welcome back to BlenderDiplom.com. I'm Gottfried Hofmann and I just got Intel when Blender 2.8 will be released and I'm really excited about it because it will be released tomorrow or at least the alpha version. That means um, Blender 2.8 will be released in steps or stages. It won't be just a big bang and it's here. It's many, many steps over many months. And this is what this video is about, to show you all the steps and explain them. So, July the 2nd, 2018, the alpha version of Blender 2.8. That means that we will finally be able to, to report bugs, but only crashes. Which should give you a little hint on just how stable the developers think the first alpha will be. Another hint not in particular stable and the alpha will also have all add-ons disabled because add-on developers shouldn't care about porting their stuff to 2.8 just yet because there will still be a lot of changes to the python api so what's next well after alpha of course there is beta on august 12th that is when all the features in Blender 2.8 should be completed. Completed doesn't mean stable, so there will still be a lot of bugs. And of course, we should test all of the all of the features and report all the bugs. And the cool thing is, we will be allowed to do so because the bug tracker won't be limited to crashes only. We'll be able to report each and every bug we find. And another really cool thing about the beta release is that it will feature full release notes. That means that every all the changes done in Blender 2.8 compared to Blender 2.79 will be fully documented or should be fully documented by August 12th. And you might wonder what's going on with the add-ons because there is nothing about add-ons on this slide. Well, one month later on September 19th, the Python API should be finalized and that will mean that add-on developers can finally start porting their add-ons to Blender 2.8. And they should have enough time to port them because September 19th, that's still roughly one month before the release candidate or at least the first release candidate, which should happen on October 20th, roughly one week before the Blender conference where another re release candidate is planned. So release candidate, that's not a real release. It's still a um, piece of software that's meant for release, but should still be tested. And um, when the real release will happen is unfortunately not known because that will depend on the amount of so-called showstopper partner bugs that are found in the release candidate. So that basically means the more we test and use Blender 2.8 before the release, the earlier we will get a real release because that way we can find all the bugs and to tell them to the developers who can squash them. And I'm personally, personally really, really excited for the 2.8 release. And I'm also using Blender 2.8 here and there in private already. And what I'd like to know from you is, are you using it already as well? And uh, for what are you using it? Are you curious and thus you're downloading builds and dab a little bit with the new features? Or are you already using it for real projects, but private ones like uh, maybe a small animation or a nice still image? Or are you really, really hardcore and are you using Blender 2.8 commercially already? Please let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this video and want to other people to see it as well, give me a thumbs up. And if you like this channel and our website, we would be happy if you would subscribe. So see you next time. And as always, do try this at home.